I was gonna say something else, but now I forgot. Hey there y'all, Ty here. Today's Tuesday, so you know what that means. That means today's another episode of Let's Talk Tuesdays. My special guest of the week this week is going to be my sweet tea from Starbucks. I feel like I have not had this in a minute. So for today's video, I was going to do like a music haul, but I kind of figured why not just talk about things that I have been listening to so that way maybe if you guys need new music suggestions or maybe if you're listening to this too, we could just talk about it and jump. To start things off, the one thing that I have been listening to so, 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 so much, even to this day, I know this album came out forever ago, is Melanie Martinez's Cry Baby. It took me months and months and months to finally find like a physical copy of this. I couldn't even find it online. It was like sold out everywhere. And if you guys haven't listened to this album, if you need a few songs to start off to like get a taste of Melly Martinez sounded a little weird But okay, I'm gonna go with it. I would say probably start off with Soap or Miss Potato Head. Uh, Training Wheels is my favorite off this album So all those the, I mean the whole album itself is great But those are definitely some songs to check out next on my albums that I have been listening to would be Vanessa Carlton's Lieberman This is her newest album. I want to say it's like her fifth one. Vanessa Carlton is my all-time favorite singer-songwriter person period ever I love anything and everything she puts out. This album is so good though. I know a lot of you probably haven't heard of her. You probably have heard A Thousand Miles. Make them away downtown, walking fast, faces pass and I'm homebound. If not, it's the song they sing in White Chicks. If I had to pick a few songs for you guys to listen to to check it out, I would say Operator, Nothing Where Something Used To Be, and Probably Take It Easy. Those are my favorites off of this album. This next album is more of an EP than an actual full length, but it has been on repeat since it came out. And some of you might actually have this on your iTunes and maybe have the CD, but that is going to be Choice of Lines, Wild EP. Oh my god. <laughs> I just... I can't get enough of it. I am still just blaring this to this day. Oh, and I almost dropped it. I'm so sorry, Troy. My favorite one would have to be Ease featuring Broods. That's my favorite track off this whole album. Wild is actually my ringtone. Fun fact. This next album, I will admit, probably won't be for everyone. It has taken me a little bit to get into this record, but she is one of my favorites. So, I mean... And that's gonna be Sarah Bareilles' new album, What's Inside, Songs from Waitress. Did I get that right? I did. It is based off the musical that she wrote for Broadway, Waitress. If I would check any songs out, I would probably say She Used to Be Mine, which is the lead single. Next up would have to be one of my favorite singer-songwriter artists, people ever, period, you know, and Baby Daddy, Hunter Hayes. This album, I don't know, at first I was a little skeptical because it's only seven songs, but it's three discs because it's a studio, an acoustic, and a live, but this is so good. It's called The 21 Project. Now, this is a country album for those of you who don't know who Hunter Hayes is. Um, he's one of the few country artists I listen to. He's bae. Um, Some songs to check out. I Mean You is probably my favorite off the whole record. I love that one. 21 is a good one, the lead single from this. And then the last physical album that I have to talk about with you guys is going to be Alanis Morissette's 20th anniversary re-release of Jagged Little Pill. Now, I know a lot of you are really, really, really young. So you might not know who Alanis Morissette is and you might not know what Jagged Little Pill is. But just to give you a refresher, this is one of the best albums of all time. From the actual album, I would say check out Hand in My Pocket, You Learn, or Mary Jane. Mary Jane's my favorite, hands down. Just saying. And now onto like digital things that I just don't have a physical copy in my hands. Number one on the list, Grimes's. Grimes. Grimes's. Grimes's. Yes, Grimes. Grimes's new album, Art Angels. It is so, oh my god. It exceeded all my expectations. I was a huge, huge fan of her last album, Visions. I honestly didn't know where she was gonna go with it, but she went in the right direction. I will say that. I would definitely suggest checking out Flesh Without Blood or California. Just really the whole album in general is a banger. I have also been listening to a band called Wet. They really only have a few singles out at the moment, but I would definitely check out Weak and Deadwater. It's really all I'm listening to, I believe. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of music and overload, and it might not be for all of you, but if you guys like it, you know, let me know. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here because I am shooting this hella late due to work. So I apologize. Hopefully it goes up at a decent time. I don't know. Please don't kill me. If you liked this video and you like my taste of music, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. And until next time, stay right. Bye. It's still recording. Why is it so